This is an entry to functional skills math paper from NCFE. It's split into two parts. In the first part, you can't use a calculator, but you can. Jay wants to buy his first greenhouse. Jay has £95 to buy a greenhouse. Write 95 in words. Jay has £95. He buys a greenhouse. Greenhouse for sale, £69. How much money will Jay have left over? Show you're working. So from the 95, we're going to take away 69. So we need to take away 9 from the 5, which means we've got to borrow. So if I borrow 1 from the 9, that becomes 8. The 5 becomes 15. So 15 take away 9 gives us 6. 8 take away 6 gives us 2. So 26 pounds left over. The owner says he can deliver the greenhouse. The delivery date is 13th of the 7th, 2021. What day of the week does he deliver the greenhouse? So 13th of the 7th. The seventh month of the year is July. You could start counting them if you're not sure about this. So, 13th of July, that is this one here, and that is a Tuesday. The greenhouse will be delivered at half past two. Which clock shows half past two? So half past two. The first one A is that is half past one. This one that is quarter to three. This one is half past two, so it's past two o'clock. D is half past four. So C is the only correct option. The greenhouse has nine shelves. Jay puts 12 pots on each shelf. How many pots does he put on the shelves in total? So we're going to do 12 times 9. 9 times 2 or 2 times 9, that is 18. So 9 and 9 gives us 18. So 8 down and 1 is carried over. 9 times 1 is 9, and the 1, that is 10. So 108 is the answer. Jay lives at number 27 Cross Street. Some of the house numbers are missing. The house numbers go up in sequence. Tick the house where Jay lives. So we've got 13, 15, 17. So next one is going to be 19 and 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So we're looking at number 27 and that is where Jay lives. This is the end of the first part. This is now the second part of the paper. From now on you can use a calculator. Activity 2. Planting seeds. The greenhouse is ready for Jay to start planting seeds. Jay buys a packet with 100 lettuce seeds inside. He plants 36 seeds. How does Jay work out the number of seeds left over? Tick your answer. So it was 100 and then he planted 36 so to work out how many there are left we're going to go 100 take away 36 and that is option a option b c and d they're not correct j plants the 36 letter seeds in pots he uses nine pots J plants an equal number of seeds in each pot. How many seeds does he plant in each pot? So there are 
36 seeds and 9 pots. So we're going to do 36 divided by 9. And that is equal to 4, because 4 times 9 gives us 36. You could do this using a calculator as well, or you might just know this by heart because it's in the 9s and the 4s times table. Jay plants tomatoes in trays. He puts the trays on a shelf. Where does he put the trays of tomatoes? Take your answer. Is it behind the peas, below the peas, on top of the peas, between the peas? So looking at tomatoes, that is below the peas. So option B is the correct one. The tomatoes start to grow a day after they are planted. How many hours are in a day? So in a day there are 24 hours. This is something we should know. Jay keeps seeds in a tin. The tin is in the shape of a cuboid. How many faces does a cuboid have? So it has one, two, that's on the back, three, four, five behind, and six below. So that is six. Jay needs to plant some seeds outside. He checks the weather forecast. Jay wants to plant the seeds on days when there is rain and when the temperature is more than 10 degrees Celsius. Which days will he choose? So, rain. So we have yes here. So it's four days when we have yes. We're going to focus on those four. And the temperature is more than 10. 8, that is less than 10, 8 again less than 10, 12, which is more than 10, and then 14, which is more than 10. So we've got Thursday and Saturday. Activity 3, growing the vegetables. The vegetables start to grow. Jay looks after them. Jay collects rain in water tanks. He sees how much water is in each tank. Which water tank has the most water? Tick your answer. So we've got litres and millilitres. Litres are much bigger than millilitres. Millilitres are tiny amounts. So we're going to focus on 2 litres and 12 litres. 12 is greater than 2, so D holds the most water. G measures a carrot. How long is the carrot to the nearest labelled division? So we've got the arrow pointing here. And that's between 34 and 35 centimetres. So this is closer to 35. Labelled means we've got these numbers given to us. So 35 centimetres. Jay counts the numbers of vegetables he picks each week. He puts the results in a table. In which week did Jay pick 70 carrots? So we've got number of carrots here. There is 70. So that is week 3. This table shows the number of tomatoes Jay picks. 
He wants to show the results in a bar chart. Complete the bar chart. So week one, it goes up to 30. So there is 30. And then week two, that is 60. Week three seventy week four ninety. And week five, forty. Now, I haven't used the ruler here, but it's a good idea when you do this on paper to use a ruler. Jay writes down the weights of vegetables he grows. Jay thinks the total weight is over 200 kilograms. Is Jay correct? Give a reason for your answer. So we're going to add them all together because we need to work out the total. So we've got 73 kilograms. We've got 84 and then 19. We could add these using a calculator and it gives us 176 kilograms. Jay thinks the total weight is over 200 kilograms. Is this over? No. So is Jay correct? No. Activity four, cooking the vegetables. Jay uses the vegetables to cook with. Jay makes a carrot cake. He cuts the cake into 10 slices. Jay eats one slice. What fraction of the cake does Jay eat? So Jay eats one slice out of the 10 slices in total. So that's one tenth that he eats. Jay has a party for his friends. There are 90 slices of cake to eat. When his friends leave, these slices are left over. How many slices of cake did his friends eat? So let's have a look at how many we've got left over. So we can work out how many they ate. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So we're going to take away 28 from the 90. So 90, take away 28. Using a calculator, that gives us 62. Jay also makes pea and potato snacks. He cooks the peas and potatoes and rolls them into balls. What is the name of this 3D shape? 
So that is a sphere. The shape which looks like a ball, that is a sphere. This chart shows the number of snacks each friend ate. How many people ate more than 25 snacks? So number of snacks, 25. That was one, two, three people. Jake grows some leaks for his friends. He measures the length of the leaks. He thinks B is the longest leak. Is Jake correct? Give a reason for your answer. So I've got centimeters and millimeters. Centimeters are longer than millimeters. So we're going to focus on the centimeters here. We've got 30 centimeters and 3 centimeters. So 30 is longer. And that's the longest. So is J correct? I'm going to say no. A is the longest. And this is the end of the paper.